The History of Artisan Digital, Part 2. Three months after the release of Approaching Oblivion, AD released one single nine-minute track, his longest so far, using the new artist name Artisan Digital. The track was called Headstone. Not yet knowing what kind of hole it would be a part of, he uploaded a video to YouTube on 17th of April 2018, at the same time announcing the artist name change as well as the title and cover image of his next album, Red. Additionally, AD promised that a compilation album would be coming sometime soon and that it would be called The History of Artists and Digital, which eventually was not to be. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. At this point, AD had only a striking cover image and album title, but no idea what kind of album it would become. This would begin to come clear during late spring and summer of 2018, when which AD spent searching for inspiration and musical ideas. It wasn't until August that the work on Red began in earnest. Red was finalized by the end of September and released on 5th of October. After completing three tracks in addition to Headstone during August, AD uploaded a music video for what would be the album's opening track to YouTube on 30th of August. The Last Dance on Earth is a catchy techno-influenced dance track that slowly degenerates into an eerie soundscape towards its end. Let's listen to a sample. The remaining six tracks of the album were completed during September. A video of album's closing track Existence is an Anomaly appeared in YouTube on the 14th. It was followed by the Autumn Years one day after the album release on the 6th of October. Later on a video for the title track Red was also uploaded to YouTube, but this didn't happen until 7th of July of the following year. Red is AD's first attempt at creating an album with something approaching a storyline. The story is somewhat vague, but it is there. It begins with a person whose hectic life is nearing its end. He or she has made many wrong choices and feels dissatisfied and stressed. The opening track, The Last Dance on Earth, describes these feelings as the main character gradually succumbs to death, having failed to be happy in life, with the eerie sound effects at the end signifying the end of his or her life. The Last Dance on Earth segues into the second track, A Lifeless Domain, which describes being dead. There is not much in the way of melody present as most of the composition consists of dreadful sounds, lifeless as implied by the title. Without a second pause, a lifeless domain seeks into the album's extremely dramatic title track Red, which signifies rebirth. Our main character has been reborn. 
death is over, lifeless domain is behind him or her, and a new life has begun. And this new life gives the main character a chance to try again, to avoid the mistakes he or she made in the previous one. The fourth track, Simple Life, has a more hopeful feel. It sounds like things are working out. The seventh track is one more reworking of an older piece. Uh, Leaving Me Here is an extended version of a much shorter track, Forever Goodbye, which originally appeared on the unreleased inversion in 2015. The track names refer to an old Genesis song, Visions of Angels, from their sophomore 1970 album Trespass, which has the lines, Leaving Me Here, Forever Goodbye. The eighth track, The Autumn Years, finds our main character in mellow old age, which is followed by Headstone, the first track of the album to be recorded. The album ends in a thoughtful note, with a beautiful existence is an anomaly, which wonders what life is all about to begin with, and questions if there will be a third life at all for the main character. The total running time for Red is exactly 47 minutes, again fairly close to the 45-minute target. Now, let's listen to Existence is an Anomaly in its entirety and view the video AD made for it in September 2018.
Following the release of Red, AD's record label reminded him that he had never released a single. That was true, and AD was intrigued by the idea, but where to get material all of a sudden? There were no leftovers from Red. Quickly he sat down to compose one more track. This sudden session produced The Infinite Forest, which was released as AD's only single so far. Following the hectic year 2018, AD was spent. Again, he took a break from composing work and, as it happened, released virtually no new music during 2019. Instead, he took on the promise he had made, prepare a compilation of his work thus far. Inspired by what he thought was a success of Red, he decided to name the compilation Gree. The plan was to create a best-of album containing the works AD had released as artisan and introduce them under artist name Artisan Digital so that, that it would be enough for any curious fan to check out what had been released with the new artist name and there would be no need to go back for the earlier albums anymore, including the unreleased ones. Hence, Green would contain the best that AD had released or not released between Crater Lake and Approaching Oblivion. This wouldn't have been much work except for the fact that AD couldn't help but cringe when listening to tracks on Crater Lake. He decided to re-record the tracks he had chosen for inclusion on Green. Also, he decided to ignore his normal 45-minute target and extend the album closer to a full hour so that everything worthwhile could be included. Track 6, The Chase, is one of the tracks originally composed in 1977. He recorded it to Crater Lake in March 2011, and now once again in 2019. Let's listen to a short sample of the newer version. In addition to the three re-recorded tracks from Crater Lake, there were also some other changes to the original versions done. Track 4, Downfall, was also re-recorded and extended so it is no longer the same version as Inversion Downfall was on Inversion. Let's listen to a sample.
Even more importantly, the ending of the title track of Exogenesis has now been tweaked a little on green to correct a slight flaw in it, which AD didn't originally notice until he had already released the album. The tweak shortened Exogenesis by one second from 851 to 850. Since we already listened to Exogenesis, let's not do it again. And instead, check out the sample of Paradise Waits, which I already mentioned earlier in part one. It is originally from Inversion, was recorded in early 2015, and has not been tweaked in any way. Green's total running time is 56 minutes and 44 seconds. It was released on 12th of April 2019 and was the only AD release during that year. The re-recordings of three Great Lake tracks were all completed at the last minute during a two-day recording session on 4th and 5th of April, causing a slight pause on the preparation of the next studio album which had by that time already started. AD completed the opening and title track of that next album, Wonderland, already at the end of February 2019 and uploaded it to YouTube 14 months before the album would actually be released. An album sample followed on 11th of July stating that there would be a release towards the end of the year, which then didn't happen. Another full track, The Fight Escalates, completed already at the end of April, followed on 19th of July. Let's listen to samples of both Wonderland and The Fight Escalates back to back. of Wonderland would have been ready for release by the end of June 2019. In addition to, to the two 
YouTube releases, four other tracks were done already at that point. Voices in April, Reunited in May, Inner Sanctum in early June, and Father and Daughter on the last day of June. Logically, it was these six tracks that featured in the album sampler. What followed, however, was an unplanned break in working that extended to several months and caused a delay from originally planned full album release at the end of 2019 to the eventual release in late April 2020. The break was caused simply by a lack of good musical ideas. Story-wise, there were no problems. And Wonderland had a precisely thought-out story to tell, just like Endless before it, and unlike Red, which only had some vague notions about death, a new life, and the next death. Wonderland is a story about a father and a daughter. Both love each other very much, but get separated after a divorce places the daughter in custody of her mother, who lives with a violent stepfather, who is also involved in some criminal activities. An unspeakable tragedy follows as the daughter is killed in the hands of the stepfather. Atmos Nova is extended to Atmos Nova 2, using its sorrowful theme again to convey the loss of a young life in the hands of an adult who should have protected it. The grief-stricken father has broken and hospitalized. He begins to hear voices that tell him that the daughter can still be saved by means of his work, which dealt with time displacement equipment that can send him back in time to a moment when his daughter was still alive. After testing the equipment on the stairs of a deserted subway escalator, he becomes convinced and goes back in time in a desperate bid to change the past. Needless to say, he succeeds in his endeavor, distracting the evil stepfather by escalating a fight outside the building where he lives into a literal street war, then retrieving his daughter before the tragedy has a chance to befall. Father and daughter are reunited, after which they use the time dis placement device to jump far enough into the future to find permanent safety there and a chance to live happily ever after. Let's listen to a sample of the album's last track, In a Sanctum, which conveys this happy ending. The next burst of creativity took place near the end of 2019 when a track called Scattering Amplitudes was first completed in mid-November and a further three tracks during December. These were Atmos Nova 2, Try the Impossible and The Solution Part. Of these four, AD selected the dance track Try the Impossible for uploading to YouTube on 14th of December and the avant-garde oddity Scattering Amplitudes on 9th of February 2020. At the end of 2019, 10 tracks were ready for release, but the time had obviously run out. The full album wouldn't be ready before early 2020. A track list of 13 compositions had been planned already some time ago, so AD knew exactly what was needed. Still missing were tracks number 6, Escalator, number 8, whose name I cannot pronounce but it is Latin, and number 10, Street War. AD set out to work on them in early 2020 and after having worked on them parallel, finally completed all three on the same day, 8th of April. At the same time, AD had also been working on a short story collection which he intended to publish in 2020. It was written in Finnish and had the title Omituisia rakkaustarinoita, which translates into strange love stories. Both Endless and Wonderland are featured therein. Endless is the first story in the book. As you may recall, A.D. had completed it already in September 2016. Reading it finally gives a chance for a fan to understand what the track titles on the album Endless are referring to, years after it was released. 
Unfortunately, we cannot summarize the story here as, as that would spoil the big twist hidden near its middle. Wonderland is a slightly more complicated affair. The last story in the collection is indeed called Wonderland, but it is not the same story as on the album. Uh, Wonderland, the short story, is a romance between an American novelist and screenwriter with a foreign woman who is in trouble and needs his help. At an early point in that story, these two main characters get acquainted and watch a movie together. And that movie has the story of Wonderland the album. One chapter in the story is completely dedicated to the couple's movie-watching experience and tells the science fiction story of father and daughter in more detail. Wonderland the album was finally released on 24th of April 2020. The short story collection followed a few months later on 12th of August. Total running time of the album is 48 minutes and 42 seconds, slightly longer than the target length of 45 minutes. Only a few weeks after the release of Wonderland, AD completed the first two tracks of his next studio album, which was going to be called Elemental. The date was 11th of June, and the tracks were called simply Elemental 1 and Elemental 2. The first one of these was uploaded to YouTube two days later as the first sample from the album that would not be having individual track titles, but only numbers. Let's listen to it in its entirety.
on 5th of August, AD completed and also uploaded to YouTube Elemental 3, which he personally feels is one of his best works, alongside the title track of Exogenesis, Atmos Nova, and Elemental, Elemental 1 that we just listened to. The outlook was good since the composer was truly satisfied with his work. But in spite of this, after completing three tracks totaling 14 minutes of running time, the work slowed down considerably. Before we get into that, let's listen to a sample of Elemental 3. When he started, AD had no idea how many parts of Elemental there would eventually be, but he assumed it might be around 10. He was simply going to start writing a new part whenever he had an interesting idea, and the album would start to form piece by piece, with each individual part added in chronological order. But as it happened, interesting ideas were hard to come by during the rest of 2020. Parts 4 and 5 were completed in a space of only a few days at the end of October, but at the end of the year there were still only these five parts done, totaling less than 22 minutes. AD knew that another five were going to be needed to reach an album length. Part 6 wasn't ready until 22nd of February 2021. After that, the next two parts weren't completed until June, by which time the first two were already one year old. Finally, parts 9 and 10 were completed on 1st and 2nd of July, respectively. At this point, total running time of the album was 42 minutes and 55 seconds, which AD considered close enough, and decided to call this collection of 10 tracks a full album. Release date was set to 23rd of July, and the full track list you can already see on the screen. Let's listen to a sample of Elemental 9. Although the musical ideas of Elemental were really hard to come by, AD is really, really happy with the end result and personally thinks Elemental is the best album he has so far made. This is not only because he loves parts 1 and 3. Part 9 that we just listened to is also one of his favorites, and best of all, there doesn't seem to be a single weak track on the album, meaning one that he would feel a bit ashamed of later on. When making music, new tracks that you select for publication always sound good at first, but many of them do not age well. When you are the composer, you notice this only later. Well after you have released the music, it is out and can no longer be recalled. Examples of this phenomenon of it felt good when I first made it, but now it makes me cringe with embarrassment include all of Greater Lake, about half of Inversion, 
many tracks with grand piano in the foreground and synthesizers in the background, the violin loop of new light, the overbearing synthesizer loop of northern lights, the clumsy drum track of street war, and so on. The difference is that on Elemental AD still hasn't found any reasons for being embarrassed. No tracks have started to feel like failures in hindsight. During 2021, AD also wrote a sequel to his earlier short story collection and called it Omituusia Rakkaustarinoita 2, which of course translates to Strange Love Stories 2. Again, a link was established between one of its stories and the recorded album. The third story in the book is called Elemental. It is a direct sequel to the story Wonderland of the first book, with the same main characters. The story takes place while filming a fictional, large-scale Hollywood action and adventure movie called Elemental, and the album is supposed to be its soundtrack. This time we are not told much about the movie's storyline. Omituisa Rakkaustarinata 2 was published only a couple of weeks after Elemental, the album was released on 5th of August. Following the completion of Elemental, AD felt more drained than ever before after finishing a music project. He seriously considered ending his career as a composer altogether. Since Elemental was such a great success, at least in his own opinion, it would make a fine final album of his recording career. He considered this matter decided and closed, and made no music at all during the rest of 2021. At the beginning of 2022, new ideas began to form, and now it is nearly certain that there will be again a new artisan digital album. It is going to be called Metaphor. It has no draft cover image for displaying here, and not a single note has yet been composed or played, but there are some very strong ideas already in existence regarding of what kind of work it is going to be. Metaphor will pay homage to the instrumental vinyl albums of the 1970s, such as Mike Oldfield's first albums or Tangerine Dream's Rubicon. There will be only two long pieces, about 20 minutes each, and they will be called Metaphor Part 1 and Metaphor Part 2. AD has not worked with this kind of format before, as his two longest compositions so far, Headstone and Exogenesis, both clock a little under nine minutes. This will be a new adventure. How can you make a continuous 20-minute composition that will successfully carry its themes through its duration and feel like one whole instead of a collection of random ideas? AD has even toyed with the idea of following the example of Mike Oldfield's Incantations, which was a double album containing not only two but four 20-minute compositions. Either way, it seems unlikely that Metaphor will be ready during 2022, so this year may well become the first since 2017, with no new artisan arts and digital releases. If Metaphor eventually turns out to have only two parts, it should be ready in 2023. But if there are four parts, it might take even longer. This has been the history of Artists and Digital. You have been listening to part two. Thank you. Now go out and find the albums.